I, you don't have to tell me, but I tell you what, I'm going to write all this down. And I'll say you probably will get a, a visit from the FBI or the Department of Defense. Okay. Mankind had entered a new age, and General Dynamics was the leader, paving the way for still more for advanced technology. In 1963, the Fort Worth Division was contracted by the Air Force to convert 12 of the Martin-built B-57B aircraft into reconnaissance platforms. These odd-looking aircraft were capable of flying at altitudes up to 100,000 feet. The standard missile is a supersonic weapon system designed to protect ships against air attack but with the added capability of surface-to-surface -surface launch against enemy vessels. A General Dynamics high-temperature gas-cooled nuclear reactor is installed at this electric generating plant at Peach Bottom, Pennsylvania. Triga reactors for research and testing are in use on five continents. In the Congo, a Triga reactor aids medical research into bone development and disease. In Korea, a Triga reactor is a tool in the study of plant growth. In the United States, Triga reactors help analyze chemicals, provide isotopes for medical research, and help determine the effects of radiation on electronic systems and components. I have your license plate and don't come back, take any more pictures of these buildings. A jigsaw is no puzzle to a woman who knows her sewing machine. Cutting the plexiglass for a bombardier's enclosure is as easy as cutting Susie's new apron. On a template with steam to make a flawless bubble of the plastic crystal, they can shape it in six minutes and maybe say a prayer for the boy who will sit in the nose of the plane and burst the bubble of world tyranny from behind this one emerging beneath fair and competent hands. And now the six minutes are up, and the windshield is as fit for the bombardier's clear eyes as it is stout to buffet the terrific winds a bomber creates in its flight. The 1,000-acre complex is located in a corner of the Crab Orchard National Wildlife Refuge. It is the U.S. Penitentiary at Marion, Illinois, sometimes called the House of Pain or the End of the Line. Marion is, is psychological and physical torture. Most men can't handle it. Close, Tan. They even try to escape. You know, they even try to jump the fence and get shot, kill themselves. They're tired of it. They can't handle it no more. There's no other alternative because these are people who have a long history of. of either hurting people or trying to break out of prison, and they've had every reasonable opportunity to uh, function in an open population. We just passed through uh, the first grill at USP Marion. You can see here our, our secure perimeter. You can see numerous rolls of concertina wire. It's a place that people are locked up for four years straight, 23 hours a day. For almost 300 men in Marion's lockdown, there is no work, no group activity, no church. We're being treated as a kind of a hazardous waste. It makes you angry. It makes you, it makes you bitter. Some people, they, they go crazy. Other people, they break them. Marion is unique. No other prison in U.S. history has been in lockdown this long. And U.S. officials say the get tough policy, which began here four years ago, will be permanent.
some big ones down here and just you know that excited laugh yeah you know <laughs> what you do you guys do when you get excited and crappie are crappie and bluegills are hard fighters they'll pull mm -hmm. that they'll pull that line and just as hard as a bass will and mm -hmm. you know so even with a crappie you're like you think you got something huge on it mm -hmm. usually wasn't it kind of wore me out a little bit yeah I just hit all the damn garbage everywhere. Mm. So that's about it. Yeah. I you know, and I'm not afraid of fishing down here. You know, I know I used to have the uh main used to play down here and they still got plants down here around that I I'm not afraid to eat fish out of here anymore. Mm -hmm. I mean maybe twenty years ago. 30 years ago yeah it would have been a catch and release only thing yeah. but side of the lake over there they uh, have like a well, I forget the scientific word for it a little peninsula coming out um, it was hot and it was during hunting season and uh, <laughs> he and I both were standing there watching it and this giant buck came to the edge of the ground and it just kept pacing back and forth pacing back and forth and then it dove into the lake and it swam with his head just above the water and you saw antlers going across the lake I mean it it was about 